Hi everyone, this is Jonathan from Precursive. Welcome along to Feature Focus, where today we're going to be looking at how you can get the right skill sets onto bids or pitches or proposals, depending on what you call them in your respective businesses. Now in this example, we've got an upcoming piece of work called Bid Like a Boss. Uh, and we can see here that we've got 50K in revenue associated with this piece of work on the right hand side. And then in turn, we've also got uh, a milestone and some budget for this. So just to recap, we're at that proposal price quote stage. We can actually navigate into the opportunity here, go back and see what's happening or what's happened, and then come back into our project. And then on the right hand side, we've got to deliver the proposal. By the seventh, we've done 20% of it so far. So let's have a look at how we might find the right skills for this particular piece of work. If we go into Precursive Plan, typically our customers in Precursive Plan are managing their resources, be that their staff for sold work or indeed for pitches or bids. So we can see here people's capacity and their availability. Now on the right hand side we have our request mode. So if I navigate into the request mode, I can see that on the left hand side now, we've got uh, a number of different requests for various projects. And at the bottom here, we can see the requirement for a consultant for the Bid Like a Boss project. And we can see that we need someone who speaks French. So let's go ahead and see if we can, we can find this person. So what I'm going to do is hit this assign resource button and Precursive is gonna look for the relevant consultant. So we've got a few options here. And down the left hand side, we can actually hover over each individual and see the different types of skill sets or knowledge that they have. So that now in the middle we can see the requirements starting on the 1st of October, a couple of hours a day for three days. And then below that, I can see people's availability. Now I know that Audrey's working on something, so if I click on Audrey's name and I click on Care's name, I can see the different things that they're planned to. Let's just pack those up again. And now what I'm gonna do is say, okay, in this example, we need someone that speaks French. So let's add a filter looking for that and apply it. And now we can see we have a couple of options, Andy and Audrey. Now I know that both can do it. Andy's fully available because there aren't any bookings in his schedule as demonstrated by the white space. With Audrey on the other hand, we can see that she's doing some work on this project here. And it's four hours a day. So arguably either of them could do it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign this to Andy. There we go. And now we can see that that's in his schedule. So in this way, we've been able to navigate from the requirement for a consultant, identify the relevant skills, and place it onto that work pretty quickly and easily. And of course, we could do that with a broader range of requirements in terms of skills or knowledge. Thanks very much.